I was crying outside 222, looking at Cheryl Cole, just bawling my eyes out. I think in this production, the women have a lot more power. Uh, and to be honest, let's face it, Michael Ball singing Love Changes Everything is gorgeous. Hello everyone and welcome back to West End Best Friend and today we're joined by another very special guest currently performing at the Lyric Theatre in Aspects of Love. It's Anna Unwin. Welcome to West End Best Friend. How's it going? Uh, it's good. Thanks for having me. I'm really, really excited. Great to have you here. We're here to talk about Aspects of Love, which is your West End debut. Congratulations. Thank you. West End debut, honestly, it, it, it is really surreal and it has been amazing. Like, I'll, I'm sure we'll get into it, but I was so close to like giving up the industry really? and I was so done. And maybe I'm less resilient than some people, but it's so flipping hard. And it was like auditions and rejections and lockdown and this and that. And this was just so amazing, like just so amazing and so out of the blue. And it's been just incredible, in incredible, yeah. And I'm kind of now you're a few weeks into your run as, as it kind of all kind of as the dust kind of settled, you're performing kind of eight times a week now, you're getting really into the role, I, I assume. Yeah, now I'm like, now I'm like a diva. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, uh, I, it's no, I genuinely, I still flipping love it. Like every show, I'm finding new things in the character. And I think like, actually the actors, everyone like around me and the other actors, are so like giving and good that there's always like new stuff to find and like interesting bits and so it's it's I feel like I've settled into it in a sense that I'm not like oh, I don't know what I'm doing but I feel still like still really enjoying it I mean ask me in six months but I think I think I'll, yeah. I think I'll, uh, and you're like oh I have to do this again yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's also funny because I'm not in Act One at all like at yeah. all. So that's fun. So if you again, if you've got any like hobby ideas for someone to do in Act One, I've like I read Michael Ball's book. That was fun. There you go. An hour in the theatre every day. Like what? Maybe I can yeah. come up with some fun. Things. There must be something. Anyone, anyone out there watching this or, yeah. or listening to this interview, get in touch with Anna and and, and let her know things that she can do it during really during fun. Act One of Aspects of Love. So before we talk more about the show itself, I'd, I'd love to talk to you more about about you, about about Anna Unwin, and kind of how did you get into musical theatre in the first place? Well, I mean, I think I genuinely think I came out of the womb singing with jazz hands. Like I was really. It was, do you know what I mean? I remember my mum told me that once so I was in like the nativity. My mum yeah. was like, directing it. I was three and I was flipping fuming that I wasn't Mary. And I was like shepherd number four. She said that she was like, Anna, you came center stage like in front of Mary and like ripped off the leg of your little sheep Teddy and was like, look. It's broken and like and everyone was laughing and I just I think that was that was it. I got a taste for the wow. stage and, and from that point I was like, that's it. <laughs> the the drama, but the improv skills as well. A sec must be second to none. <laughs> there we go. So um so yeah, so from there I, you know, went to see a few musicals and I was like just fell in love with, with it. Um graduated in, in twenty nineteen and like COVID was the year after and it right. was just, just really bad timing. It was it was really tricky. I'd managed. I did like a few like little jobs and ma made a few connections and stuff. But it was a real slog and lo and so many auditions and so many like almost and then like maybes and then and then lots of no's. So um, I was having a bit of trouble with my agent. I wasn't really getting any auditions at all. Mm -hmm. I was like, move agents and just give it one final push. Yeah. So one, one last go. One last go. So after Christmas, I came back from Panto. And I literally, my first audition with this new agent was yeah. for Jenny in Aspects of Love. And oh, wow. I know. And they literally gave me, they'd been, I didn't know this, um, they'd been auditioning since November. Right. I, was, I think this was like January, maybe February. Oh, wow. And it was my first audition and they were like, can you learn these like five songs? before like tomorrow or like it was it was yeah. one of those like a real like, real kind of rush real rush and right. i didn't know that it was they'd been auditioning for so long it was the first i'd heard of it i thought it was the first round so i went in and it was 
one of the nicest audition processes that I've ever had, um, ever. Jonathan Kent, who directed Aspects, gave me so much time, like, and, and the music director, Nick, like, they, they gave me so much time and worked it. And I, I think I did, like, I brought five songs. Yeah. I think I had one, but they heard it, like, maybe, like, 20 times, and they got me to do it differently. And Oh, it, wow. It was really, really fun, and I loved that. Like, so kind of, like, more of a workshop than an, an audition. Yeah, yeah, and um, there was so much focus on, like, truthful acting, and so that was really fun. Then, I think two days later, I heard, got a recall. I went in again and I was like oh it's only second round I was like you know it's only second round you sometimes have like seven rounds for this stuff yeah I went yeah. in it went I thought it went really well and then at the end of the audition Callum Nick who I love who's our musical director now our musical supervisor now at the end of the audition he was like can we just can we just check some of these notes because you actually sound a bit flat and I was like no oh my gosh like I've never had and I was quite ill and I was like, I don't know whether to tell them that I'm ill. It right. was horrendous. Like, and I left that audition and I was like, great. Like, that's it. I'll never like, oh, oh. I was like, right. And then that night, my friends were like, don't worry about it. Like, let's go into town. Like, and yeah. take your mind off it. Like, and my agent just texted me saying, can you call me? And I rang her on the Elizabeth line, on the tube. She just said, Anna, you got it, you're gonna be in the West End, you're playing Jenny Dillingham. And I honestly was like, what? Like, because we were in and out of signal, I thought maybe I'd heard wrong. And yeah. I literally, I asked her maybe like four or five times, like, are you sure? Like, are you, what? Mm. And I just, I mean, what a show for the people on the Elizabeth line. It was, I was just crying. Fantastic. They would have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we went straight into central London. Yeah. and went straight to the lyric and I cried again so yeah and and again people on the street have no idea you're just crying outside a theatre where I think 222 would have been on at the time right exactly exactly yeah. <laughs> I was crying outside 222 looking at Cheryl Cole just bawling my eyes out the inspiration <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fantastic a real a real kind of roller coaster journey into this show. Congratulations for, for not giving up and, and a inspiration to people watching again. If you're kind of getting rejections and stuff, you never know if yeah. the next one is gonna be the one. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And I think I'm not any better now than I was six months ago. Like I'm right. like, obviously I know the part and I've practiced the singing, but as a, as a performer, like obviously you're slowly improving and building your craft, but you are as valuable if you're like, now that you've got the West End job, as I, as I was when I hadn't, and yeah. you think you need, I need to learn to be like, no, I am, I am good, I can do this, even if you're like, even if the audition panels are like, no. You gotta, you gotta have that self confidence to, to yeah. be able to do it, especially in acting and in this, in this industry where you go through so many rejections. Yeah. Over the process of kind of rehearsing this show, and now you've opened, was there a specific moment where it was in your head that you kind of like. Here I am. This this is this is it. Could you could you describe that moment for yourself? I mean, the first day the first day was quite big. Like I again, I the first day of rehearsals was a meet and greet, and I was like, great. So there's going to be like ten of us in a room, and we're all going to go around and say our name and say our like favorite flavor of ice cream. Do you know what I mean? I thought it was that vibe. I got there, and I was just like wearing like my joggers, and I got there, and like there was probably like 60 people in the room, like Don Black was there, like the writers and the producers and Nika Burns was there. And it, like, it was huge. And everyone had like dressed up and I was like, oh my gosh. And like Michael was there, like Michael Ball and Laura. And like, I think that was the first time I was like, oh my gosh, like this is yeah. <laughs> big. Opening night, I remember just being like, like so like in the morning i felt so sick i was so nervous i can imagine it was do you know what? i had some real good friends around me who were like you like you've worked for this you know it you know your stuff like it's gonna be fine but, uh, people were people were really really encouraging but i didn't let myself think about it i think i didn't let myself think yeah my mum's in the second row or this is the, the, the i didn't Angelo Webber's in. I didn't think of any of that until my final scene. I come off almost like, yeah, crying, like desperate. Yeah, real and, real um, kind of in the moment kind of. Real in the moment. And I came off the wings and there's one bit where I basically come on at the end and I don't have any lines, thank goodness. I just stop, I just stare out and I, I watch what's going on. And between those two scenes, I just stood in the wings and I was like, oh my gosh, 
I just move away from the debut. And I just busted my eyes out in the wings, Brilliant. just side stage. And I was like, look where I am, I'm at the Lyric Theatre in the West End. And it all, it all just hit at once. All just hit. Um, so that was really, that was really special. How did you make it through the end of the show after that? Is it well, just, just before your final scene? How do you get through that last scene after going like, oh dear? <laughs> I know, well, well, it's funny because I just was like, you know what? They, it must have been my best performance because I came back on stage like crying and I looked so dramatic. And, and it so offers it like, in character. There you go, there you go. Brilliant. Um, so, so Aspects of Love, this is a revival of Andrew Lloyd Webber's, one of, one of Andrew Lloyd Webber's many musicals, and it's a new version. What what can you tell us about this kind of, about this new revival of a classic show? So Aspects of Love, obviously it was done 34 years ago and Michael Ball played Alex. He played the like the young male lead in Aspects of Love. And he it, now it's come back, he's playing like Alex's uncle basically, um, which is really special. Like I think, Michael is amazing. He's one of the like loveliest, funniest men. Um, I know he's. It was a real full circle moment for him. Yeah, I mean they've given him love changes everything to sing again. So it used to be sung by Alex, and now it gets sung by George. Right. Michael's... So it really, it really works. And yeah, and it's it's like it's super intense musical. There's a lot of like really complicated love stories, and I have to say like standing side of stage watching Laura Pitt-Pulford and Michael and Jamie, all, all of them do their thing is like masterclass in just acting. It's yeah. just, they're all brilliant. Sometimes I'll go up and stand above the band because they're above the stage and look at out and it's just like, it's like a, a 15 piece orchestra I think and like just string quartet and like a, a wind section and a harp. It's just like gorgeous. So it's yeah. a proper kind of classic night at the theatre where you're watching this kind of melodrama with Absolutely. wonderful music, but it's been it's been updated as well, hasn't it? It's, it has been updated. So some of the storylines have been updated. In the original version, my character Jenny um, was 15. And that is, as we know now, it was then, mm. as it is now, or problematic and bad because she falls in love with someone who's much older than her yeah. um i think we we need to think of it not like oh well now that's not okay it's like no it's always not been okay yeah. and now we're just solving it do you know what i mean so um so jenny so i play an 18 year old jenny um who falls in love with alex who's a bit older but i think that's the thing it's like a lot of people who i who i know have seen it are like some of the yeah. main characters, it's not like, oh, the goody and the baddie. It's like, oh, you're quite manipulative. And oh, like, why would you do that to her? I think in this production, the women have a lot more power, um, which I love. I'm like, come on, Fantastic. especially, especially um, Jenny. And she should. Yeah, and, and, and I think, yeah, like quite manipulative women who are like, this is what I want and this is what I'm going to get. Um, yeah. So it is, it is quite interesting. It is quite interesting to watch those love stories sort of like unfold. Um, so it's something that like kind of audiences can not just kind of sit back and watch, but can also kind of look at with a critical eye and, and really sink their teeth into as yeah. well, potentially discuss after the show as well. So starting conversations about, about yeah. these things is, is always uh, a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and at, at afterwards, that's it. Like on the tube home, if ever like people come and watch, they're like, "Yeah, but he should have done that." And why didn't this happen? And maybe they could do that. And then, but I think the interesting thing is, it's not justified. It's not like this is great. This is how you should do love. It's it's almost commenting on if love's not done in like a good way. Look what can happen. This I is the consequence of it. This is can be the consequences. And actually, you're watching some of the the characters, and you go. That is, that can ruin your life. I think it might, then love changes everything. You know, it says, love, love changes everything. Live or perish in its flame. Like love can be quite dangerous in some ways. And the show like really looks at that, I think, um, which is, which is really, which is really cool. Really cool. That's interesting. And, and like, I'll say to the people watching is that we talked about kind of covering the story and we said we said we were going to kind of avoid it, but I think we've covered that really well and we didn't even discuss like all of those things. And I think yeah. that's, that's a really interesting way of kind of looking at this show yeah. and, um, and really kind of a, a good way of watching any kind of revival in, yeah. in any kind of musical, really. 
and and I think that's that's the thing is I I like that we're not trying to say to audiences this is fine it's like we're saying to audiences look at this you know look at this um yeah. yeah which is which is really interesting really interesting but that shouldn't by any means put off anyone that wants to go and see this show because it is as you've said the singing the performances are brilliant you've got michael ball you've got laura pitt pulford you've got yourself you've got the rest of the the cast as well which are all fantastic a 15-piece orchestra with new arrangements it's a spectacular show and and the kind of complex story is there to be critiqued if you want to or you can just sit back and kind of enjoy the spectacle yeah it's so it's so worth the watch just uh, and to be honest let's face it michael ball singing love changes everything is gorgeous every every time he hits it every time cool. <laughs> is, is, is michael ball at the end of the day is michael ball <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's he's he is brilliant he really like I, that was another thing i can say this to you now before i was like i wonder if he's like worth the hype you know right and now i can officially say like absolutely (laughs) on and off stage he's worth the hype he's just brilliant i he's he's just brilliant and so so lovely he's like really um held the held the company like together so that's really great to hear so congratulations on the run of aspects of love you're open now and you're running until november the 11th so there's plenty of time to book tickets but make sure you're booking those tickets everyone out there as soon as possible to see this brilliant brilliant show and to see yourself play the role of jenny thank you you very much for taking the time to talk to us here at west end best friend it's been really great to talk to you good luck with the rest of the show thank you thank you so much for having me thank you very much